Welcome everybody to How to Get to a Thousand Elo, the Christmas special, the holiday special. Man, I've been waiting to drop this video. And in this video, I'm gonna give you guys three tips. Three tips that will elevate your game for you to cross the threshold of a thousand elo. So, <clears throat> so you see, you see, I got Santa hat on these hoes, man. They stop playing with me. I got Santa hat on these hoes, so you know I'm here to deliver. I'm here to deliver. So let's get it going. Tip number, oh, hold up. Before I get into the tips, let me say this. Drop a like, drop a comment, drop a subscription. Come on, we trying to hit, we trying to go up. 2024 is my year. We hit, we got the groundwork this year. We got 2,000 subs. Now let's hit 10,000. Let's hit 5,000. Let's do something crazy. Let's hit 100,000. But besides the point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say it how it is this video. I'm going to say it how it is. I'm not the best with my words, but I'm going to tell you what it is, and I'm going to say it how it is. And if you're rocking with me, I'm rocking with you. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, I'm rocking with you. So now let's get into the video. Tip number one, I want you to establish an opening for white and black. Pick one. Pick one and learn the ins and outs of those openings so you master that opening. Because most likely at the earlier levels of uh, chess, the early elos, people are just playing random moves. Like there, There's no thought behind the moves. They're just playing them. So what you need to do is learn how to develop your pieces properly learn how to develop properly and i'm gonna give you two openings for white that i used and you can i'm not gonna go too crazy into them but i'm just gonna you know i'm just gonna marinate you i'm sounded a little wrong i ain't gonna lie i'm gonna marinate it to the point where it's like okay i see what it is if you want to go learn more about these openings you can go watch a video on them if you want me to make a video on them on the more intricate ins and outs let me know in the comments but the first opening starts with d4 and don't think i'm playing the london because i ain't playing no london they respond d5 most likely. Here, you play c4, you gambit the pawn. d4, d5, c4. If they take, you take the full center. Most likely, they will take in the, full, the, the pawn. You take the full center, you're threatening to win this pawn back. If they spend the whole game trying to defend the pawn, their, their queen side is going to be extremely weak, and you can take advantage of that. But if they defend... What I want you to do is just develop your knights. They develop, develop, develop. I don't, I don't care. I just want you to literally develop. If they kick you out, keep the pressure. If they keep kicking you out like this, just drop back. And they try to go after your bishop. They're just spending all the moves trying to get this bishop, and that's okay. But if they just kick you out and you go here, and now they just want to develop and castle, you play e3. Open up your light square bishop. They castle. Bring out the bishop. They take. You take. You castle. Now you play chess. You just want to get your pieces in a position to make plays. That's what. That's all it is. Get your pieces in positions to make plays. And and now you just got to make the plays. So that's, that's one opening. The queen's gambit. The second opening is the Vienna. E4, E5. Knight c3, stop playing with them. And at my level now, like 18, 1900, people will play the max long defense, which is knight to c6. But a lot of the times, people will play this, knight to f6. And here, I want you to play bow. Come on, bow, f4. If they take the pawn, you push, and now the knight has to go back to this square because any other square he goes forward it dies immediately to either the queen or the knight. So if they defend, all I want you to do, develop. Bring out the bishop. Castle. Here. If they take, you take. They are just trying to develop. Step your queen up to the business. Long castle. Say they go here. Just long castle. That's all you need to do. And you play this game. You throw your pawns down and you checkmate your opponent. So if you play the Vienna, I want you to long castle nine times out of ten unless they're already starting to throw pawns your way. If they're already throwing pawns your way, castle short. Castle short, no need to do that. But if you are able to castle long, they start throwing the pawns, play king b1, they start throwing the pawns, that's okay. Do not get scared of this. Do not get scared of this. 
but that's the openings for white. Now we have openings for black. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it, black. I'm gonna show you opening against E4 and D4 that I recently started using. Not recently, that I used. So when they play E4, play the Sicilian. And really, truth be told, play, play the Accelerated Dragon. Like, bruh, literally play the Accelerated Dragon and I don't, I'm not, I'm just developing pieces for my opponent because most likely at the early levels, they aren't, they aren't going to know theory. So here, just bang. If they want to Fianchetto, oh, that, that automatically loses, so we won't do that. Say they just develop out, you develop your knight. They castle. You develop your other knight, you get ready to castle. Say they just develop, you castle, and now you play chess in this position. You play chess, you have the open bishop, you have a long diagonal with your dark square bishop, you're holding down these squares so the knight can't make progress. You're going to just try to slowly maneuver the position. As you can see, the eval is equal, but that's just because, like, I'm just doing basic development moves. Basic development moves. So what you need to do is get your development right, folks. Get your development right. Play the dragon. Okay. Now we have this one. Now if they play d4, knight f6. They go for this one, play the ki king's Indian defense. King's Indian, if they just develop, bang, 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 castle. They develop, open up your other bishop. Now look at this. You're, you're a little, playing a little bit more passively. You're allowing him them to get like a big center. I don't know what they're doing, but most likely they will be pushing pawns if you if you wait back. Now, you can go for this. Just develop two if you want. If they try to kick you out, this is when you got to just start hitting some maneuvers. Just jump around, jump around, jump around, jump around. And those are the openings for black and white. So that's tip one. Learn the fundamental ins and outs of your opening. Find what opening you like the best. There's so many videos out there. If you want to see me make a video on a certain opening, man, just drop down in the comments and let me know. Um, but now we're on to tip two. And tip two is the most fun. I ain't going to lie. Puzzles. Puzzles. Chess.com, you can do puzzles, bro. So why are we not doing puzzles? So I either, I want you to do your puzzles each day and also do puzzle rush. And when you're doing these, don't just make simple-minded moves. Calculate them through. Like, fully calculate them through. I want you to go through a checklist. Checks, captures, and attacks. Look for all checks. Do we have any checks? No. Do we have any captures? Yes, we do. We win the queen. And the first ones are always easy because they're like 100 elo. But the further you get up in the puzzle rush, the harder the puzzles will be. So here, what do we have? Let's look. Let's look. Let's calculate. Check. And by a miracle, it's mate. So look for checks first, the most forcing. If you don't see a check that leads to anything, look, look for a capture. Now we got black to move. What are we doing? Check by a miracle. What is that? Mate. Here, we have a check. What can the opponent do to defend that? They can block, but then you just immediately take it. They can also block here, but then you immediately take it. And it's mate, back rank. These are just patterns, patterns you'll get used to. You'll see them in the game, you'll be like, oh my God, I remember back in the day, I, I remember two days ago I was doing a puzzle and I seen it. So, you know, come on, man, come on. Here, white's down a rook. Do we tra take the rook? Do we take the rook? Is that what we do? That's a capture. But what's better than just taking the rook? Because if we just take the rook, count the material. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. They're up a pawn. That's not good. So, yes, it is a free rook. But we have checkmate. So look for the checks, captures, and attacks. And that's all we're going to do for now. That's all we're going to do because, I, I, like I said, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm just going to give you guys the tools. So we got tip one, learn an opening. Tip two, do your puzzles. Get your puzzle. Get your brain locked in on these, on these uh, not strategies, on these patterns. Okay, now tip three, my favorite. You know me, Endgame Mastero, man. Endgame Mastero, learn some Endgame. Learn basic Endgames. For example, for example, learn a king and pawn endgame or a king and queen endgame. Uh, one, like a thing like this. 
just like this. Learn how to checkmate with the king and queen so you never stalemate. And I'll just do a quick one. White to move. Pretend the queen is a, a, a knight. And when I say that, put the queen in a position where if it was a knight, it would be a check. Now the king has to go here, here, or here. And we're just going to keep doing that. Keep backing them down until they are on a back rank anywhere. As soon as they're on the back rank, play here. Start bringing your king. They go, like I said, L. Now, just bring your king and deliver mate. So that's just one. King and, king and queen endgames. Now, you also need to learn rook and king. Rook and king, king, queen and king, and king and pawn. Those are the three most important ones that you need to learn as a beginner. Once you do that, you'll be a thousand elo, man. So, you know, let me know if this video was helpful. Um, yeah, drop a like, comment, sub. You feel me? And I'll catch y'all on the flip, man. We out of here. Deuces.